What's going on guys, this is me EJ, and let's be honest here for a second, we all need Rio. Whether you like it or not, this new update literally needs us to get a lot of Rio. In fact, if you want to unlock the new Gen 3 Tilt Spirits, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same for each one, you're going to need a solid 10 million Rio. I kid you not. And of course I have 40 million, and I'm going to teach you guys how I got that 40 million Rio in this video. But oh my goodness, you need a lot of Rio for a lot of things, whether it's a sub ability, whether it's bloodline moves, which by the way, some of these are super expensive now, whether it's some kind of ninja tool, there are so many things that you need Rio for. In fact, anything that you can unlock in this game, you're going to pretty much need at least a, a decent amount of Rio if it's decent, all right? If it's like something that you're not really going to need or something, it's not really going to be that much. But for the most part, the best things in the game are going to cost millions of Rio. And of course, this is why in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the fastest way to make millions of Rio in Shindo Life. Alright, sorry for that long intro, guys. Subscribe and hit that bell for more videos like this. Our like goal today is going to be 300 likes, everyone, so hit that like button right now. In fact, smash it, okay? If you like it in the next three seconds, you're going to get billions of Rio, alright? I'm telling you guys, billions, if you uh, hit that like button in the next three seconds, you ready? Three, two, one one now like the video all right if you like that you are gonna get billions of rio in shindo life of course join my discord server for free game pass giveaways uh private server codes and a lot more the link to that's gonna be down below and yeah you guys no more wasting time i want to begin right now all right so where do we even begin honestly i think we should begin with like some of the uh, easiest ways to do it um so yeah guys let's begin so coming up first you guys we're gonna have the green scrolls now if you're a lower level this is a great and quick way to make some extra cash because you pretty much get a lot of rio over time now uh, something i do recommend if you're real grinding missions like i'm gonna go over some other missions you can do to make a lot of rio my number one recommendation would be to not focus on it until you're at least level 800 because if your character is level 800 which to check your level you can come here and it'll tell you right here if it's level 800 or higher, you're going to get twice the amount of Rio, pretty much, which is very overpowered, by the way, and you're going to love it, okay, guys? So, once you're level 800, I highly recommend you start doing stuff like this, because it's going to help you out a ton with making money, and of course, these missions are super duper fast, super duper easy. Check me out real quickly, they're almost dead. I think I can just end one of them, but you know what? We did it. Alright, there you go. So, as you can see, pretty easy stuff there. Uh, you can get a decent amount of real from that. I think we got like a 100k, probably less than 100k. But you know what? Over time, because of how fast these, these missions are, you're going to be making a lot of Rio. All right, guys. And the other special mission that you can do in these maps, and this is honestly one of the best ones that you can do, is boss missions. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys, do not do boss missions at the Ember map because the boss missions are scattered throughout, which means that you might have to travel a little bit, especially when there's a five minute counter for each one. So you have to wait five minutes after killing it to fight it again. Uh, you're going to want to go to the next one. And the next one's pretty much across the map. So, yeah, I'd recommend going on a different map where the bosses are a little bit closer. Maybe the training map might be not that bad, but there's not as many bosses. But that's okay. But yeah, pretty much all you're going to want to do for this is you're going to want to find the boss missions. I'm just going to go to the one in the back for this. Now, you're going to know this is a boss mission when it's a uh, scroll the boss. Now, you can do Tailed Spirits as well, like the Gen 3 Although, I'm not gonna lie, those are pretty difficult to kill because Reality Talk's been nerfed. However, with these bosses, they are so easy to kill. Um, especially if you have Xenodokai, which I do have, I'm just not gonna equip it. But, I'm just gonna show you guys real quickly that, you know, you could kill the bosses. Even if you don't have Xenodokai, you could still kill them. And of course, like I said before, if, if you're level 800 or higher, you're gonna be getting twice the amount of Rio from this. So that is awesome, and you can make a lot from these, pretty much, okay? I'm telling you guys, boss missions are just overpowered as heck. Of course, like I said before, the only downside is that there's a 5-minute counter after you defeat it, but you still get a lot of Rio, and you can just go on to the next boss after, which, again, is why I highly recommend you go uh, into a map that has a closer spawn so that you can... Uh, kill it a lot quicker but of course that, that's just my recommendation uh these are super easy to kill okay guys so let me cancel this i'm not trying to kill it right now because you know your boy just doesn't have a xenodokai equipped and i'm not about to change my entire setup but yeah you guys probably one of the best ways in the entire game boss missions but we have some other really cool methods that are actually a lot easier to do and can get you more real all right guys so let's go on to the next one all right guys so for the next method you're gonna need to go to the menu now this method is by 
far the easiest way to make Rio. All you're going to want to do is come to the game mode section here, and then you're going to want to go to my home. Now, the best part about this is that you can literally keep this on for hours, and you're going to make a lot of Rio from this over time, especially if you have the storage game pass, which is for spins. You're going to make twice as much Rio and twice as many spins from this, all right? And literally, all you're going to want to do, you guys, is you're going to either want to sit down or you're going to want to lay down here. And all you're going to want to do is just wait until this goes up. Now, there's times for the next payout. You're going to make Rio and you're going to make spins. And the spin storage is going to give you twice as many rewards. Now, this is by far the easiest way because you could get a lot of Rio and a lot of spins on top of that from doing nothing. And the best part is that you, you could keep this on while you're sleeping in real life or if you're out doing something in the real world. You could just keep this on and you'll make so much real in fact um something that you guys need to know is that you'll get kicked out after 20 minutes from being afk that's not shindle life that's roblox uh and I, you need an auto clicker to make that not happen now of course you can do the auto clicker in game but the auto clicker in game will not work for that because it'll still kick you out so what i do recommend is that you download an auto clicker my favorite one is op auto clicker one of the best ones in my opinion and all you're gonna want to do is just turn it on all right and literally you can just keep this on while you're sleeping all night and it'll stay on and it'll keep grinding for you guys all right so that is super cool so that these are called afk rewards by the way one of the easiest ways to make rio in shindo life and spins as well very useful for players that are trying to get uh lots of real uh even when they're not playing it's a really good way for some passive income and yeah you guys let's go on to the next method all right you guys so for the next method this is actually going to be one that i highly recommend you do if you have a lot of friends all right uh, let me explain it right now well technically you don't need friends but something i do recommend is that you don't you do this in a public server at least if you have a lot of friends definitely do it with your friends and we're talking about war mode now, i'm not I'm not gonna go into it because what's the reason uh actually no no i will i will so we're gonna go into war mode quickly just to show you guys but pretty much how this works is you kill a lot of enemies and you go through waves i think at wave 20 you get to fight the, the ten tail spirit which allows you to get the uh ten tailed beast which also costs 10 million for gen 1 or gen 2 so keep that in mind but yeah you guys so pretty much why this method is really good is because you're killing so many enemies and over time this will get you a crap ton of rio i think this is one of the methods that are a lot more uh obscure like not as many people know about this really because it's a lot harder to get to the main boss which is ten tails because in public servers people are messing up and stuff but if you have a lot of friends you can make a lot of progress but even if you don't just go into a public server and literally just kill as many minions as you can and you will make yourself a good amount of rio it is so easy to do you guys like i kid you not it is so easy all right, you guys, so we went over some of the best ways you can make Rio in Shindle Life. Hopefully this helps, but we also have some other things you have to talk about for this. So if you come to the cheats right here, you can come and you can buy Rio yourself. If you don't want to grind, you can buy 5 million for how much is that? For 350 Robux. Dang, that's a lot. Or you can buy 1 million Rio for 100 Robux. So there's that as well. However, I don't highly, I highly don't recommend it, you know, because the thing is you can easily make that Rio in like 10 minutes if you want to. So I think grinding is a lot more worth it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these faster paced gameplay videos or tutorial videos because I kind of like talking fast like this and going, you know, beast mode with my videos. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and hit that bell for more videos like this. I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.